Every shot that you take during the game involves defense and a choice when you catch the ball, to shoot, to attack, or to pass. But how often do you practice that way? Just like in a game, you need to practice against live defenders where you have to randomly choose what to do. This is a major reason so many players don't shoot as well as they should during games. They just don't practice that way. Adding these competitive shooting drills to your workouts will help you separate from your competition and help you make more big shots during games. Also, we have a free gift for you in the description below with more great drills and workouts. Now let's check out these shooting drills with Coach Nate Sanderson. Now another variation to this would be having the offensive player fill, but now putting the disadvantaged defender in front of the player when they make the cut. So rather than waiting in the chair, that defender is going to be live as soon as the offensive player starts their filling action up to the wing. And we'll just show one repetition here of either catch it and shoot it or catch it and drive it right here. Okay, go ahead. Good. So the defensive man stayed down anticipating the drive. Parker came off aggressively hunting for his shot and he got it, okay? So that would be a, just a simple drill that you could do to get some shooting repetitions and to get that read looking at space and looking at how the defender's playing you. Now to start, Parker's gonna come and fill the empty spot. So he's gonna move up so that he becomes one pass away. He's gonna catch it on the wing. And now the defender is going to react the same way that he would in a game. As his man gets higher, he's going to now move up as he becomes more dangerous. We're going to pass the ball to the wing and just play a live one-on-one -on -one situation out of that. Again, what we're changing here is rather than the defender trailing as we did before, now the defender is coming out of his natural help side position and you're attacking a closeout on the wing. Okay, so let's give that a try. Okay, good take. Let's go ahead and flip it and do it again. Now again, depending on what you want out of your offense here, if you're trying to get straight line drives or dribble drive is a big part of your game, you might limit the offense's dribbles. Give them two dribbles to find a way to score, or you may make them go to the middle on their drive. Those are all things that you can script as part of this drill, again, to mimic the action that you want out of your offense. Now, if you want to work on the drive and you want to work on the attack, then we can add the help side defender again. So we'll do the same thing here. We're going to come out and now we're going to make you turn the corner. Okay, so you're going to fill, you're going to catch it, and then you're going to put it on the floor. The one thing that I just would restrict you a little bit is you can't turn the corner and catch it on the run yet. Okay, we'll get to that later when we get into some slash cuts. So you want to catch on the perimeter and then you can go either way. Help side man, you're gonna drop down when the ball is turned, okay, when he catches it. All right, go ahead. Now we'll show it to you one more time here, adding the help side defender. So we're gonna start our offensive man here, passer in the top of the key. Help side now is gonna close out to the ball just as we saw, and then we have another man the second defender here is gonna be coming from his gap help position down to the rim line, and now you have a second defender that you have to try to beat to get a shot here. Okay, so this is one on two, attacking on the fill up action here. Go ahead. Good, nice step back shot there, good read. So let's say that you're in a four out or a five out situation and there's a spot open here and his job is to rotate up and to fill the top spot in the offense. Some of the time he may catch the ball and look to attack in that situation. So we can do the same thing with our defender in the chair here where you're gonna flash up, I'm gonna throw him the basketball as he gets to that defender and then boom, he's gonna catch it on the run and look to attack to the middle of the floor, okay? All right, let's reset that here. Again, I'm giving the offense an advantage by putting that initial defender in a disadvantaged situation to try to create the two-on-one and the decision-making opportunity. All right, here we go. Flash up. Good, great back cut, nice pass. Let's switch spots, blue. Same thing, we're gonna fill that spot, catch it, and attack the middle. Go ahead. Okay. For 
right now, let's just put you in denial here. <clears throat> Our opposite man's gonna rotate up, so you're gonna come out of help into one pass away. And we're gonna, again, play a live two-on-two -two situation. Now, our rules are gonna be the same. The offense gets one pass to create a shot. So when he rotates up, if there's space, you can let it go from there. We will only allow them to drive to the middle because that's what we're trying to work on here. So that drive has to be to the middle of the floor. You can pull up and shoot it, take it to the rim, or you can kick it, but that's your one pass. So if you receive it in the corner off of that drive, that player then has to become the shooter, okay? Again, offense, if you get an offensive rebound, you're just two on two, no dribble to score. All right, questions? Okay, let's see what this looks like here. So we're gonna fill up, catch, and now play. <clears throat> Okay, black, let's do the same thing. Black offense, blue defense. You're gonna start a little bit lower. Here we go, rotate up. Nice finish, let's go black again, switch spots. Here you go, black. Good. So these are all different ways to create the same decision-making point in the lane. We've either attacked it off of a closeout when we fill the spot, we've attacked it off the dribble with a disadvantaged player here, but everything is in what do I do when I get space in the middle of the lane? And not only is it decision-making by the ball handler, but also the spacer in the corner, there are a lot of things that you guys can do and you guys did different things. We showed a back cut, we showed pop out and shoot it, one thing we didn't see is catch it and then re-attack it, but that would be another option. Just knowing that when you put it on the floor, and we saw that, I guess, dribble drive at the end where we got the reverse layup, that it puts the, again, the aggressive mindset into the offense, that when you catch it out there, you're catching it as a scorer, not as somebody that's now looking to make another pass. And that's the mentality that we're trying to get in all of what we do offensively here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more great drills and workouts, click the link below. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the like button and leave us a comment about any questions or future videos that you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.